After Park Rose High School evacuated, a lot of parents had to wait in agony until they were able to reunite with their children. Our Morgan Romero talked to some of them, and Morgan, you heard some pretty intense stories. Yeah, I did. And when I first got to this area, which was the reunification area and command center, parents were filled with anxiety and fear, not knowing what was going on. That was before the lockdown was lifted. But as their students came in off buses, I saw the most incredible embraces, tears streaming down parents' faces, teenagers just squeezing their parents so tightly, not wanting to let go. That lockdown lifted around 1.30 this afternoon. But before then, many students and their we're texting back and forth with their siblings and parents saying things like, I love you. I'm scared. There's a guy with a gun. Around 1.30, about a dozen school buses and TriMet buses hauled kids in from Park Rose. We talked to a lot of kids and heard a number of stories about what they witnessed and experienced. One student told me she was in a classroom when a security guard came in looking for a student with a gun, and that student barged in. All of a sudden... I just remember he had came in and he was standing right behind me and all of a sudden he was trying to cock his sh gun and then the security guard had, had tried to fight him and we all just ran out of the classroom because I mean we had saw the gun and our substitute teacher was telling us to run and I mean when you're in a situation like that the adrenaline just kind of kicks in. Traumatic. I heard stories from other students who said they hid in closets, theater makeup rooms, so scared and so in the dark, not knowing what was going on. Now, students and their parents are feeling relieved and grateful this didn't end up in tragedy. I didn't know if it was real because usually our drills happen, but then I was like, she just said lockdown, we're on lockdown. And then, like, the overhead audio stuff went off, and then we're like, well, is it real? Like, I don't know what's going on. We were in the middle of a test. So I'm going to probably speak for a lot of the parents that we're happy that our kids are safe and that this was not a worse situation since we hear so much about all these horrific school shootings now. And there was a formal process for kids getting off those buses. They were checked off a list and then they were escorted to the tent area where the command center was, where their names and parents' names were announced over a megaphone. I have to tell you, as soon as a lot of them reunited, they got out of here. Back to you. Yeah, I bet. You know, thank you, Morgan. And this being a Friday and all, it's good. It gives these families an opportunity to maybe decompress mm -hmm. a little bit over the mm -hmm. weekend, spend some time together, talk about everything that they went through. And yeah, of course, we can all exhale, exhale right now because no one was hurt, no one was shot. But man, a really, really scary day when you consider how often this turns to tragedy.